Oh, hi. My name's Christos Hawani. Uh, if you're anything like me, you've, <laughs> you've been off the grid for quite a while. This is actually very embarrassing. I wasn't expecting any guests. Uh, God, what's it been? Like one to three months? Uh, yeah, I'm not even wearing a watch, so I don't know. Um, <clears throat> but <laughs> funny story, actually. I, uh, um, if you're wondering where I've been, I came down with... <laughs> oh, God. It was a pretty bad disease that's only been seen in Asia in the last 300 years, about in two, three times. I believe it had something to do with pandas and gunpowder, actually. Uh, again, long story. We'll save that for another video. But, um, yeah, I've just been pretty under the weather, and I'm still <clears throat> I'm still recovering, in fact. And uh, I stopped by uh, Walgreens earlier today to pick up some stuff. And I, you know, while I have you here, might as well just go ahead and show you, you know, what I do to get better. So the first step to curing any sickness at all, and if you think I'm bluffing, you can try this. It will cure anything from a mosquito bite to maybe a beetle bite. I haven't tried much from being honest, but uh, the first step is a good old fashioned ibuprofen. It really, it really tends to, you know, help keep your head from swelling. Now with this, you want to make sure uh, you read what it says on the cap, open, push down and turn and you close it tightly. That's, that's what it says on the top. So you want to push down and turn. That's the wrong way. Push down and turn. And just, oh god. Got a, <laughs> good to go. Uh, I was broken. Well, we're really not supposed to chew it, but. <laughs> that's that. That's the desire of Christ. <laughs> Sorry, laughter is just one of the. It's one of the things that comes with the sickness, just random. <laughs> random burst of laughter um it gets really bad you get horrible hiccups and and oh my god it is so painful and hiccups feel like you're just walking in East St. Louis somebody's taking a dagger just sticking in your chest over and over and over <laughs> it's like a prison ship it's oh my god oh <laughs> oh god all the memories are coming back <laughs> oh god oh god it's it's not pleasant at all mm. <clears throat> <laughs> the next the next item that really helps you feel good is some nice good old-fashioned day cool to help with that cough and random laughter fit you just go ahead again <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> You just go ahead. <laughs> you put it down the side. You turn it and just. You take a few swigs. <laughs> you know, it really tends to. <laughs> it really tends to go ahead. Help with that nasty, nasty cough you've had. Now, the last item is, um, <clears throat> again, kind of. Helping with the cough in line with that is some good old-fashioned cough drops. You know, these things, you can find them anywhere. And there's many different companies that sell them. But I tell you something, they all were great. I've never encountered a bad cough drop in my life. Just go ahead, just pop one in. And you think you want to chew it, right? It's a lozenge. Guess what? You don't. You just want to bite right down on them. You just want to go ahead... Chomp right in. You want to get really in there to so get all the lozenges healing effects. Because otherwise, it's like going to a witch doctor or a shaman. They're just going to go tell you to kill a giraffe, take his baby and stick it in a tree, light that tree on fire. And trust me, that does not work well. And the natives get really mad at you if you, if you try and do that because they don't like you setting their trees on fire. So, pro tip, just don't listen to witch doctors or shamans. They don't really work out well. Now, you know, that's really it. I've just been doing that over and over and over for the last three months. It is an endless cycle that I feel like I am trapped in. Um, you know, like I'm really just trapped in it. Like I cannot escape, but I'm finally getting over it. And it is nice, sweet to finally 
to have that sweet relief, you know, being able to finally just feel better after feeling so sick for the past, what did I say, like one to three months, yeah. Also, because of this, I'd recommend not visiting Asia specifically, the dead middle of Mongolia, where the Mongolian desert worm lives, do that right there. As you come home with pandas gunpowderitis. Um, that's really all there is for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Here's in forever. Christos.